Okay, uh, hi. My injury for this project was uh, shoulder separation, uh, which is often called AC joint separation. And it's a dislocation of the clavicle from the acrum. So this is my model. As you can see, this is the acrum, which is right by like the shoulder joint. So it's right over here. And then the uh, clavicle is closer to your, your like collarbone. And this is supposed to be attached all the way, but it broke. So that's the separation there. And there's many ways that this injury can take place often in sports, but it can happen to like an everyday person. Usually everyday person and in sports is like caused by taking a blow or a fall, like tripping or something. And then more in sports, more ways to suffer it is an individual lands directly on like hand down on the ground or an outstretched arm being bent back. So the way I got my shoulder separation was I was like reaching out, trying to stop someone in hockey, kind of in the corner and their weight pulled my shoulder back and that's how it happened. So those are often ways. And then famous people who have suffered soldier, shoulder separations and famous injuries. Uh, Adrian Peterson running back in that NFL suffered a pretty major one, uh, grade three, which I'll later explain, but there's multiple grades and grade three is the worst. And it was somewhat of like a stiff arm play and he fell like he was locked up with the guy. So that shows one way similar to how I injured it. And his required surgery to the AC joint and also he blew out his rotator cuff so he had to get that fixed. And then back in 2018, Tom Brady also suffered a minor grade one uh, shoulder separation. And this was against the Panthers like early in the season. And he suffered it after taking a sack, but it was suffered on his non-throwing shoulder. So he was able to play, I think he missed like maybe the remainder of that game, I'm not 100% sure, but he was able to play the following weeks. But in those following weeks, he had to wrap it and have treatment and everything before the game so he's ready to go. But he would have never been able to play if it was on his throwing shoulder. Uh, so what happens externally and internally during a shoulder separation? And it really depends on the greater severity of it. So there's grade one, which Tom Brady suffered and many, that's usually like everyday people suffer. And this will just be like pain in the shoulder. You might have more mobility, but not much, but you'll have mobility. And it's a slight displacement of the joint. Uh, and the AC joint, the acroclavicular ligament will be stretched or partially torn. And this is the most common. So what I didn't mention in my model is like, this is the AC joint that's broken, but there's also many ligaments that it's attached to. And then one, it breaks the ligaments usually go with it so it can be very painful and then grade two shoulder separation is a partial dislocation of the joint in which there may be some displacement that may not be obvious during a physical examination but the ac ligament is completely torn it's not just stretched uh yeah and then there's grade three and the grade three has like many different parts but it's usually a complete separation of the joint so it would be fully broken off just as my model not like partially attached or like hanging 
it's like completely separated. Uh, and the capsules, muscles, and ligaments all around the shoulder are completely torn. And it's usually pretty obvious to the doctor, like as soon as you walk in. So I didn't talk about externally. So shoulder for grade three, your shoulder would be like hanging like this. You usually have a major, when I had it, I had grade two and I had like a pretty big bump. So grade three would be a massive bump on top of your like collarbone. It pops out and it doesn't really heal. Like I still have mine. And then grade two will have the bump and then Grade one may have a bump, but it'd be a slight bump. And then to fix this, you're gonna have to need rehab. And grade one, two, and three, like as soon as it happens, you should be icing it like three, four, maybe more times a day to reduce the pain and swelling. And then also, no matter what, even if it's grade one, you should have it in a sling for at least one or two weeks just to reduce the movement, making sure it heals properly. And then you're gonna have to need rehab and also like Advil anti-inflammatory uh, medications or cream just so it's gonna be all bruised up and inflamed. So just to stop the inflammation. So once that's done, you can start on rehab. And then for grade three, you're gonna probably most likely need surgery before you can move on to the rehab. And there's a variety of surgical methods but uh, the surgical technique most often performed involves the reconstruction of the clavicular ligaments. And this is like right over here, the ligaments would be in here, in the clavicle. And, but it doesn't, you don't like remove or replace the clavicle, but you don't put like, a new clavicle in or anything. Uh, you just reconstruct what's around it and it will help it heal better. But because you're not like directly putting a new thing or like moving it with screws and everything, you still need time to recover from that. And then that's usually like two to three months recovery after su surgery. Uh, and then grade one and two, after the swelling goes on, you can go to like physical therapy, rehab, and then grade three, after you have your surgery, and probably like a week or two later, you can move on to uh, rehab and physical therapy. And that's usually just movements, bands, and everything. So personally, when I got it, Jeff, the trainer at CM, uh, gave me like bands so I'd have to pull my arm this way pull it in raise it up and then I also had to do something where I'd like hold a table and let my arm sway in a circle each way and then there's many different ones like wall push-ups those were tough and then like raising moving your arm like extending it and bringing it in on a table or up a wall are also methods. Uh, and then medical complications and solutions. So personally, I kind of rushed back from my shoulder separation because it happened uh, I think it, it happened right before we got on break for Christmas, like December break. So I had like fifth, I came back in like three weeks. I missed the first week of hockey. 
Uh, but if you don't let it heal properly or long enough, you'll still uh, have pain, which I had, and then there's a chance of re-injuring it. So you have to be careful of that, which I obviously wasn't, but it was my senior season. Uh, but failure of being careful and rushing back and you can tear the like muscles and joints in there or, like completely hurt it more. So, and then solutions are surgery and surgery is like the most safe way because once you have the surgery and do the recovery, there's like, it's a brand new shoulder. Uh, and that's basically it. Uh, thank you and bye.